Good morning guys, it is Monday. I thought I would film a what I eat in a day today. So you saw the Bulletproof coffee and the lemon with um, apple cider vinegar. Now I thought I would make a waffle, so I'm just using this mix here. The ingredients are really clean. I'll leave a recipe for like a similar one you can make at home, but I really like this mix in general. You just add water, it's super easy. So I topped the waffle with a little bit of banana, about a quarter of it. I sliced it thin, a strawberry, and then some oven butter. Hey everyone, so I've just been working this morning, doing some like video stuff, some editing, and some organizing a little bit. I'm off to Soul Cycle, so I'm gonna have lunch after that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the waffle. The waffle was really good, and it's really good in a pinch because you literally just add water. You don't need like egg or any other weird ingredients. You just add water and you go. So it's a really good, like easy mix to have on hand. But like I said, I will leave one if you want to make one from scratch down below. Just like a basic recipe. So yeah, yeah, I'm off to Soul Cycle now. That's why I have like no makeup on, but I'm not gonna put makeup on to go spinning. And then I will show you my lunch when I get back. But I have been having a bunch of chlorophyll water, and I just put the drops in. I put 18 drops in this thing, and then I, I sip it. I had a full one of these, too, this morning before I did the chlorophyll, so I've had a lot of water so far today. But it's important to have water when you have caffeine, because caffeine is dehydrating. So I'm back from Soul Cycle, as you can see. I'm like a sweaty mess. Time for lunch. I am so hungry. So I'm taking some Crest. It's like watercress. It has a higher nutrient profile than some other leaves in the greens. So I'm doing half a plate of this. It's just like super simple. Um, but it's so high. It's alkaline. It's high in vitamin A, vitamin K. And then I have some veggie and like, I don't want to say stir fry, but like meat and veggie leftovers. So we have some zucchini, onions, red peppers. These are lamb, and then these are like lamb i want to say meatballs um they're called kefta they're i think turkish lebanese i don't know they're called kefta and they're really really yummy so going to have that i just re i didn't warm it up but you know we're gonna have it not warmed up and that's okay sometimes you're just hungry and you don't even care this is the dressing i use it's from farm boy which is like a canadian local one but it just has Lemon juice, olive oil, garlic, salt, and black pepper. So I just like put a little bit on there. Super simple, fast lunch. The key is having things like that on hand, and I'll show you um, a meal prep video. I shall also show you a meal prep video that I did where I made something very similar to this like stir fry thing, so that you guys can make it and just have it for the week. Hey everyone, so it's the afternoon now. I look a little bit more presentable. I thought I would make a iced dirty chai, which if you haven't heard of before, I feel like I was in LA and I was just like, a dirty chai sounds really good. And then ever since then, I've kind of been all about the dirty chai. So you need chai tea, obviously. You need a shot of espresso, and then I'm making it iced. So I put almond milk and then ice in it. So I'm going to show you how to make it. All right, so you have your cup of ice. You need one espresso shot. I'm pouring that over, or you can use strong coffee if you don't have it. I'm using decaf because it's later in the afternoon. This is my chai concentrate that I make in order to make this kind of in a jiff. Um, I use this one so I could show you guys. Um, this is a pink chai. Any chai tea will work. Um, I just make it a big batch, like super concentrated. I'm gonna pour some of that in, and then. I just want to add in some collagen. It's got like 10 grams of protein, so I just add it in so it can be more of a satisfying chai latte, if that makes sense. So then I stir it up. Collagen kind of dissolves. And then I pour in some almond milk. Oh, this is a new one. And that is my dirty chai. Super, super simple. So what I like about this drink is it's got like the earthiness of a chai, kind of like the spicy notes, but then it has a bit of coffee flavor, which I love, and then um, the almond milk, which is yummy, so. I think this is gonna be like my summer drink. It's so good. All right, for dinner, I'm gonna make my own little pad thai sauce with the like butternut squash noodles and some cabbage I have left over and some leftover chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so you're gonna need half a cup of water and I'm gonna 
um, put this in the description box, but of hot water. So I just boiled some water. And then you're going to need six tablespoons of powdered peanut butter or almond butter. We're just gonna make the sauce in the pan right now. Then you're going to need two tablespoons of coconut aminos. Coconut aminos are so good for you. They're full of inositol, so if you have PCOS, it's also really good. Um, and it's just a good, a good Asian style seasoning for basically everything. Okay. And then the last major component of our sauce is red curry paste, or no, yeah, yellow curry paste, sorry, yellow. This one's really clean. Oh no, my, my spoon won't fit in there. Oh, okay, I'm out of small spoons. I need to find a small spoon. I found a teaspoon. You're going to need a tablespoon of this, so just put a tablespoon amount. This is what it looks like, and I'm just going to whisk that together. So as you guys can see, it comes together super, super quick. So I'm gonna take this off the heat and then cook my veggies. So I have the butternut squash noodles and some of that like cabbage slaw mix, which is like super inexpensive in the store and really easy. I'm gonna cook this down until it like wilts a bit and cooks. And then I'm gonna add in some leftover chicken I have from a rotisserie and then the sauce. So I've also added in just a little bit of green onion for some flavor because I had some in the fridge as well. So once everything is kind of like wilted down and cooked, you'll be able to tell it because the volume is just a lot smaller. We can go back and add our sauce. So once it's done, you can go ahead and plate it. This is probably a lot, like a bit much for me for one portion. Um, so I'll probably have like not a full meal left over, but just like a little bit. So this is how it turned out. I topped it with a little bit more green onion, but doesn't it look delish, guys? And it's so easy to do. It's a super quick pad thai sauce that you can just toss with some veggies or zoodles and some protein, and it's delicious, great healthy fats, and it's gonna be super filling as well. And then for a little dessert, I'm having some of my favorite chocolate. It's the Hue um, cashew butter with vanilla. I like the hazelnut one. Honestly, the puffed quinoa one, I just like Q is my favorite. It's paleo, vegan, and it has no bad stuff in it. The ingredients are super clean, as you guys can see. So it's super good for you. You can get it on Nurture Market. If you live in the States, you can get it, I think, on Thrive. I'll list a couple of places that, um, down below that I know have it, but it's delicious. It's my favorite chocolate by far.